is Jay Arthur and I want to talk to you about should you move to Florida after retirement? Well, Florida here is just a, a way of communicating a warmer climate. If you live in Canada, you know, I mean, like it could be really a challenging situation during the winter days. That's why uh, Florida is just a uh, word over here so it communicates that should you really move to a warmer climate or another country or another place after retirement so if you want to find out the answers keep watching this video please now have you been dying to move to Florida and you were just waiting for your retirement well I've, I met people who were just waiting for the retirement to make this happen it's okay if you really uh, done your homework. If you have, uh, you know what you're doing, it's fine. But if you're not, uh, I would strongly recommend you not to rush to that, because moving to another city, even province or country, could be a real challenge. Uh, there are many social challenges as well as the uh, legal challenges so let's look at some of those I mean the intent is not to take care of everything here but just to give you the uh, the flavor of that uh, what you really need to uh, watch out when you make this move so we know that you know as I said earlier I've seen many people rushing to move to a warmer climate after retirement because uh, they look at these kind of images which you can see over here and then they say wow that's what I want to do which is good uh, but do your homework before you do that like here uh, they always look at the rosy side when they go only for a couple of days or weeks here and there and then they say ah this is really great life I want to live this life but they miss the reality of living a lonely life because in a new place you don't have friends and family members and it could be challenging after a couple of uh, months when all that uh, initial enthusiasm goes away then you might say oh I didn't think about this so you need to also keep in mind that that by moving to US you may be facing with another issue here that is called either real or deemed disposition of Canadian property which means that you may face a significant tax bill even if you haven't sold your house so that's a very tough situation for many people who do, don't do their homework and uh, all of a sudden they see that major tax bill coming uh, in their uh, mailbox so owning a property in the US of course has its own pros and cons and uh, sometimes people say that they are going to stay there only for a couple of months and they are going to rent out the property to others and if that's the case you may be facing US income tax as well as US estate taxes when you die so just keep in mind about that owning property or even permanently moving to US could be a real challenge for many people if you don't know about the uh, the laws the US tax laws the legal uh, laws over there you should really do your homework first do the research and always and always I say consult with an advisor before you move so if you like the video if you like the information you uh, you are happy this short video with so much of good information here you can get more and more if you go to retirementtransformation.com backslash blog so take the action now check out the blog go ahead and check it out for more and more free information free retirement tips over there thanks bye bye